Hello everyone! Our topic for today is calculating the fair market value of a cash flow. What is a cash flow? What is a fair market value? Let us define them. Cash flow is a term that refers to payments that can either be inflows, payments received, or outflows, payments made. Take note that cash flow is a payment. Fair market value refers to a single amount that is equivalent to the value of the payment stream at the day. This one is also known as the economic value. And we will be using these two formulas. PV stands for the present value, R is the periodic payment, FV is the future value of course. So if you are given the periodic payment, you will be using this formula if you are asked to find the present value. And of course, here you will be using this formula if given is, of course, the future value. Okay? Example number one. Mr. Fernandez received two offers on a house and lot that he wants to sell. Mr. Francisco's offer is 50,000 down payment plus 250,000 lump sum payment at 5% five years from now. On the other hand, Mr. Cruz has offered 50,000 down payment plus 10,000 at 5% compounded quarterly for five years. Who has a better offer? What is the fair market value of the two offers? Take note that when we talk of fair market value, we are looking for the present value of the lot. We have two offers here. 50,000 down payment plus 250,000 lump sum. And we have 50,000 down payment and then 10,000 quarterly. So, who has a better offer? Let's find out. We will be comparing the offer of Mr. Francisco and Mr. Cruz. For Mr. Francisco's offer, we will be using the second formula since 250000 is considered as the future value. And then for Mr. Cruz's offer, we will be using the first formula since the periodic payment is 10000 Okay, so we will be calculating now Mr. Francisco's offer. Let's identify first the given. FV equals 250,000. Okay? Our R equals 5%. So R equals 0 0.05. Our M is equal to 1. Why 1? Because this one is lump sum. Meaning to say, it is a full payment after 5 years. So that is considered as 1. And then, we have the I. That will be R divided by M. So we have 0 0.05 divided by 1. So I is equal to 0 0.05. For our N, which is empty, we have 1 times, what is our T? Our T is equivalent to 5 years. Here. So this 1 is equal to 5. We are now ready to use the formula, the second formula, that is PV is equal to FV quantity 1 plus I raised to negative N. So PV or the present value is equal to 250,000 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to negative 5. So, raised to negative 5. Okay. Of course, how do you calculate this? You press first 1.05. You press first 1.05. And then raise it to negative 5. And then equals. And then multiply it by 250,000. So, the present value of this is. 195,881.54 This is for Mr. Francisco's offer. Let us go now to Mr. Cruz's offer. Okay. So Mr. Francisco's offer is 195 
881.54. Okay. So let us go now to the second one. The second offer. Let's identify the given. The R is 10,000. That's the periodic payment. The I is still, that is R divided by M, which is 0 0.05. Your M there is equivalent to, it says here quarterly, the one, so that is 4. So this one is divided by 4. So I now is equal to 0 0.05 divided by 4. You will be getting 0 0.0125. Okay. So our T is still, of course, 5 years. And then our N is equal to MT, which is equivalent to 4 times 5. This is equivalent to 20. So let us now use this first formula. So that is PV equals R 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N divided by I. Okay, so this is 10,000. This is equivalent to 10,000. 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.0125 raised to negative 20. This is negative 20. Negative 20 divided by 0 0.0125 okay so this one is pv this one is pv how do you press this you press 1 minus 1.0125 raised to negative 20 equals divided by 0 0.0125 equals times 10,000 and you will be getting there 175,000 993.16 so therefore who has a better offer of course mr francisco has a better offer because it is higher than 175,000. example number two miss duterte wants to sell her car miss belisario's offer is 35,000 down payment plus 150,000 lump sum payment three years from now while Ms. Zamudio has also offered 35,000 down payment plus 15,000 every quarter for three years. So that's quarterly. What is the fair market value of the two offers if money can earn 3% compounded annually? So this one is similar to the first problem given. So, we will be comparing Miss Belisario's offer and Miss Samudio's offer. Which one is better? Okay. So, this is Miss Belisario's offer. Okay. So, let's identify the given. So, FB is 150,000. And then, we have T is three years and then our m for this is always one if it is lump sum and then our r is three percent or this is 0 0.03 therefore our i is 0 0.03 divided by one i is equal to 0 0.03 because i is equal to r over m for our n we have mt mt so this is one times three we have three okay so let us use now the formula the second formula the one with the future value fv multiplied by one plus i raised to negative f so fv is one hundred fifty thousand one plus zero point zero three raised to negative three so this one is negative 3. So again, you press this one, 1.03 raised to negative 3, multiply it by 150,000, and you will be getting there 137,271. 
Okay. That is Miss Belisarius' offer. So, let us calculate now Miss Amudia's offer. This is one three seven two seven one point zero zero. Okay. Let us calculate now, Miss Zamudia's offer. We have R equals fifteen thousand. So this one is every quarter. So meaning that is quarterly. We have M equals four, and then we have I. I rather that is 0 0.03 your I therefore is 0 0.03 divided by 4 your I is 0 0.0075 okay and then your N is empty your T is still 3 years so therefore N is equal to 4 times 3 it's 12 let us calculate now using the first formula, PV equals R multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N divided by I. Okay, so we have 15,000, 1 minus 1 1.0075. I have added already 1 and 0 0.0075 negative 12 raised to negative 12 divided by 0 0.0075 how do you press this again in your calculator 1 minus 1.0075 raised to negative 12 equals divided by 0 0.0075 times 15,000 you will be getting there 171,000 523.69 so which one is higher this one is higher this time the offer of miss miss amudio therefore who will you choose if you were miss duterte of course i will be choosing the second offer because this one is higher 171,523.69 <music>